of Invercargill, the dual international a veteran of the 95 and 99 World Cups. And uh, only light cloud today, Marto. Mm. What a- this game. And there it is. That's what they're all fighting for. Get another look at that. There's a little pineapple on top of the World Cup. A golden pineapple. A golden too. pineapple right on top of the World Cup. Like on the lid. I don't know. Yeah, they're very powerful Argentinian up line up here this afternoon looking to get their campaign back on track after that loss. Disappointing loss to the English side. Expect a big performance from that one to eight. Big, powerful front row, powerful tight five, and a very explosive back row. Well, especially Fernandez Lob, Lob there, go, their captain number eight. Keep an eye on him. And it was a Romania. The tighter it gets, the better they'll be. They're built for wrestling, not speed. <laughs> the captains have to have a huge game today, both sides, Lob and uh, Tinku. I think as we've seen in the other games, a lot of the reserves do manage to get on in the latter stages, only in the opening 45 to 50 minutes. If there's a forced injury change, do the reserves get on? But well, Martin Skelso there, the reserve prop for Argentina, fourth World Cup. He's played 12 matches at the World Cup over the last few years. Incredible player and enormous. Yeah, he's a big boy. Very, very big boy. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the national anthems of Argentina and Romania, recorded by the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra and performed today by the New Zealand Choral Federation Anthem Choir. Argentinian fans there today in Invercargill. They are right into it. Now, remaining national anthem.
they know how important the start will be to this game as both sides try to assert their authority up front. It's going to be fascinating to watch the first 10 or 15 minutes, kind of. Oh, it is, Nick. I love the, you know, just the emotion of the anthems. Just 22 brothers banded together, arm in arm, singing proudly, wearing the nation's colours. But you know, singing with just tremendous voice. It's just rugby union special. I, I'm expecting to see a softening up period that goes for 78 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Discipline's going to be a huge factor yeah. for both sides. I think we might see some yellow cards this afternoon because discipline is not something that's a big strength for both these teams. And Marto, you spotted a couple of Wallaby fans I don't in know the crowd, we... which begs the question, why? why? No, I think uh, he relied on his dumb mate to get the tickets. He went, oh, were we supposed to be in Auckland today? <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> why? They might be doing the double. They might finish here. Hop Managed on a plane. the two in one day. They could be smarter than what I've thought. Yeah, yep, you're right. <laughs> Before every game, you hear that bot pot belly song. Gets a run. I'm just relieved it is dry from what we've seen in the deep south the last couple of days. It's uh, is at least a positive in that department. I'm not sure whether they'll utilise the dry weather or not. We'll have to find out. Well, we saw. The Argentinians haven't faltered too much from 2007 where they put up the kick and chased their most likely tactic. Getting set for this one now at Rugby Park in Invercargill. Argentina and Romania. Steve Walsh is your referee for this one. Your commentators, Matthew Cooper, Stu Wilson and Scott Stevenson. Rugby Park Stadium. It's a high kickoff. And not controlled either by the Argentinians. It's Pariza who got up high, but fortunately for him, the ball knocked backwards. And the pack goes to work straight away. Pariza now with ball in hand. And the penalty against Romania. Offside. Offside is the call. And so a chance to clear for Los Pumas. Paulika Yon, the man, himself into poor position. And so we'll have the first line out of the game. This one just holding up in the breeze. Which Jonathan is not Kaplan. too bad, which is not too bad, Scotty. The wind has come down a little bit, which is great. The sun's out here in Invercargill, New Zealand. And I like the look of the, the, the intent in the Romanian eyes before the start of kickoff. Ladesma with the throw, 38 years young. He's older than the two coaches. Special player. Now a chance for Argentina down a very narrow short side. And strong running play from Comacho. He's caught five short of the halfway line. Vergalio. He will pop this up, and again, it's a big run from Albacete. Patricio Albacete, now another strong charge upfield from Campos. Let's see what the back line can do. Held up. 40 metres now from the Romanian goal line. And the Puma is looking to spread wide. Lobe the captain. Vergalio, here is Ladesma. In fact, it is Roncero. No, stay out. No, 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 stay out. Vano, seven offside, is it, JK? More offside. A penalty advantage. And the There's obstruction. Obstruction is called by Steve Walsh. But it looked like Number two Martin offside. Rodriguez had made a clean break. Now come back and perhaps the first scoring opportunity of the day. Offside, number two. Well, Argentina giving the ball a little bit of air. The ground will be a little slightly uh, slippery underneath. But blue sky... Good crowd. No confusion in the back line. But Steve Walsh left with no option but to come back for the penalty. Well, the Rodriguez Pumas, with the team. The Pumas kickers were 
kicking very well pre-game at the other end of the park. They are going to go into the wind here. But uh, the way these boys were kicking goals pre-match was very, very impressive. Not a great start to his kicking stats for Rugby World Cup. In fact, only the goal kicker in Argentina's first up effort lit the place up. First chance of the game then. Gets hold of it nicely. and It'll hold up and it'll be away to the left. So the score remains nil all. And in Argentina unsuccessful through Rodriguez on the first chance of points. Well, that's disappointing. You know, they're well in the hunt when they went down to England 13-9. They missed three from nine that night. And they haven't started off the kicking tee well. Restart made. It's a long restart. Rodriguez, again, plenty of early touches for him. He returns fire. Capo is there. Capo can't take it. Argentina will have use. Time, guys. They look to go wide. Straight away, it's Bosch. Bosch, good ball. Up to Campos, and Campos caught short of the 22. They're looking to spread Romania wide early. Albacete into contact once more. Vergalio inside ball to the captain, Lobe. Vergalio has it back. Fernandez up to Rodriguez. Seven short now. And Argentina hot on attack. Roncero again running hard, but he's taken down by the Romanian second row. Vergalio. This could be the opening try for Argentina. And it is scored by Santiago Fernandez. And it was just so simple. Nice little combination, nine and ten. Vergalio, Fernandez. All started with some straight hard running with some big ball carriers. Roncero was involved. That's where they claimed it. Camucho, Camucho got that in the air against a lock forward and here was just some pretty weak defence there, Matthew. Well, they got quick ball to the Argentinian side and the end result is Santiago Fernandez going over. But good play, quick ball and a very good take by Camacho, the Gonzalo Camacho and the 25-year-old goes over close to the post and a good start to the Pumas. Well, he's playing at first five today, but was 12 against England, replacing Felipe Contempomi. Of course, is injured, just 25 years of age, Fernandez, in his 15th appearance. Martin Rodriguez. This time it is good. And so the Argentinians claim the maximum points early in the game, and they lead seven points to nil. Six gone here at Rugby Park Stadium. Yeah, that's a good start from the Pumas. Is the 9-10 combination. Just a yawning gap in there. Easy run. No sidestepping straight through. Restart made by Dumitrash. Again, it's a high, tough chance, but taken down by Ligi Simon. And again, the pack goes to work. They drive up towards the 22. Still inside. Touch is an option. Won't find it. And Suruju taken down on the 10 meter line. Still inside Argentinian territory. As they pile over the top, the Oaks. Tinku plays at halfback. Spread by Dimofta. And a strong charge from Dumitrash up towards the 10 metre line, but he was taken down and did not release. Tackled. Tackled, hard luck. Lobe getting through a power of early work. And it was on for the fullback into the line. But a nice little kick stew from Nicolas Vigilia, the Pumas halfback. It was uh, just the right, right to, amount of uh, punt on that kick, wasn't it? Just over the top, and here's the. Here's the penalty. The Romanian's not releasing. So the line-out will form midway between the 10-metre and the 22. Inside Romania's half. And the Desma to throw. And there is Roncero. Yes! 
And it's Lobe who slaps it back to Vergalio. Off his 